Hey, Pastor Kelly coming at you, folks. I'm going to do a little talking about what's going over in Brussels. It looks like uh, they found an Islamic State flag alongside of a bomb at the house searching there in Brussels. My, suspects, my suspicions is they'll find more, probably a lot more. They let all those folks come across their borders with open arms, and this is what they get. They got bit for feeding these folks. It's a really a terrible thing, a horrible, horrible thing that's went on. It's loss of life, he's injured, he's mauled, he's maimed. But the worst thing I've seen so far, besides that, Twitter's just blowing up with this stuff, is ever who posted this from Israel, I don't know who these people are. I have no clue. But it's horrible. You can read it for yourself. It says, "Let them, let them blow up. Do they care? They care about us. Let them feel what we have here. These Europeans are anti-Semitic scum. Brothers, let the let's send the breaking into silence to Belgium, and also all the Israel haters. Happy holiday, everyone." Now, I am sure most of Israel doesn't feel that way because most of the world doesn't treat Israel that way. Oh, there's a lot of anti-Semitic people out there. There's no doubt about it. And they shouldn't turn against Israel. But in retrospect, Israel shouldn't turn against them when they're, when they're hurt, when they're hurting down. Israel protects herself with the Iron Dome. They protect herself with, with these knife attacks and uh, these tunnel attacks and Generally, they get a few people harmed, and then once in a while, there'll be someone dead, which is horrible if anybody gets harmed or dead. But that what happened today is no comparison to what goes on there. Yes, they have to deal with it on a daily basis, but they stop it. This was a surprise attack, and there is numerous people dead, and they're not necessarily Europeans. Numerous people hurt, and they're not necessarily Europeans. There could very well be... Israelis or Jewish people that was hurt or maimed in this attack. Just a little bit of something for you guys to think about and pray on. And I, I pray that you're, uh, everyone is praying for the healing, for the Lord to bring down his healing power upon the injured and the families that are grieving for their loss. And I pray that the Lord will bring down his almighty power and put a stop to all this craziness for once and for all. As always, we love you, but Jesus loves you more. Pray for us. We'll be praying for you. Pastor Kelly's out of here.